lost in the sauce. Got lost in the sauce. Have you ever been doing that? You just be driving. Well, you just in your own little concert in the car and then forget. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was supposed to be driving. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Jero G here. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know people behind me was mad. Y'all, I just got lost. Glow really got me hooked right now. And it's just, I'm just so excited for Glow really to like watch her elevation. And like, long story, like, not long story short, but like, in all actuality, the way Glow Rilla is elevating is the way I wish Sexy Red would elevate. And I really feel like the white people who's behind Sexy Red right now, they are really not trying to do that. Like, nobody in their right mind would let Sexy Red, who wanted her business to like be as commercial as possible would have let her came out with them lipstick names the way she did point blank period but i'm excited for when i see sexy red finally get her her her, her glow up and that's exactly what glorilla is doing her little country action you mean i'm trying to be seen <laughs> all right y'all i just i'm just having a good day i'm just feeling blessed um I, I just, I, this is why this review is coming a little bit late, you guys. I apologize, Love Emerge Huntsville. That's what we're going to get into. Um, I just had a lot of stuff in my personal life just kind of happen. So it postponed my trip to New York, you guys. I was supposed to go to New York, but some family things happened. And so that's off the books for right now. Um, so it kind of, you know, just the family stuff sometimes will get you down, but I'm, I'm, I'm back in a better mood today, went shopping, ran errands, um, been in the car bumping all day, so I'm boosting my mood back up, so let's not waste more time, let's go ahead and get back into Love and Marriage Huntsville, that's what y'all came here for, y'all like, Gigi, shut the fuck up, ain't nobody came here for all that, <laughs> but guess what, you gonna wait, because you, what you're supposed to do after my introduction, which is like the video, okay, and make sure you full subscribe, okay, while you're over here trying to talk to you behind the screen, okay, but love and marriage Huntsville, you guys, so this is the girls, basically their girls trip, they're all getting together and going to St. Thomas, now the weird thing about this St. Thomas trip is that, is this, is it like, is this technically Melody's trip or is this technically like a love and marriage Huntsville trip and the only reason I'm asking that is because of how this bedroom situation went okay um this could go either way depending on what side you fall on so um basically Melody gets there with her two friends I think one of them's name is like Shantae and the other one is Lauren um and she goes through picks the bedrooms you know she's like I just wanted to wait till I got here Melody knew what them god dang men's situations was. But it's Melody, right? When you book a house, you gotta make sure there's enough rooms for everybody. And the only reason I'm going to give a little bit of a grace is because when you book an Airbnb, the more people, the harder it is to make sure everybody's gonna have their own room, own bathroom, you know, stuff like that. But Melody goes through, gives her two besties the good room, um, then, um, she puts Nail in her own room, then she puts, uh, Sunny in her own room, and Kimmy, Destiny, and Tisha are gonna be in their room, and it makes sense just by numbers, okay, Kimmy and Tisha, y'all sister-in-laws, and Tisha said, you said you was gonna bring somebody, so, hell, they can sleep with you, you know? So, when they go through, do all the beds and everything, you know, Melody, she's just talking, like, you know, we're going to take this trip the Melody Cherie way. You know, she made sure to put emphasis on, you know, ever since I've left Martell, I've been doing the most traveling out of the country I've ever done. <laughs> Melody, you ain't, oh, y'all, I can't, I don't know, it's so hot, y'all, my device is overheating. I'll catch y'all on the flip side, okay? What's up you guys your girl g here as you can see i'm back home uh well ref refreshed and a little bit cooled off uh this video i know love and marriage hunts with this video is um going to be a little bit late but i'm trying to knock out everything 
after just a whole bunch of shit happened with my family. So that's why this video and everything after is coming late, but your girl is trying to sit down and knock them all out, okay? So let's go ahead and get back into Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, I want to post this even though I know it's going to be late um, because next week as well I'll be out of town and I don't want to miss two weeks in a row. So yeah, Love and Marriage Huntsville, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, pick up where we left off, which is Melody and all the ladies are have come into the house and they are basically discussing the rooms or no, Melody was discussing the rooms. So the ladies, they're all in the airport and everybody's picking up their luggage, you know, and all of a sudden Sunny walks up and you could just see Sunny walking up in the most awkward of ways. She was so uncomfortable. <laughs> And so she walked up and everybody gave her the most frostiest high. You know, Kimmy, of course, gave her, hey, Sunny. But Tisha, who was it? Tisha, Trish, uh, Trisha, Nail, everybody else gave her, they gave her the, okay. Like off a of Friday, I just want to say like, okay, hey, hey. <laughs> it was just real, very much just dry, okay? So it definitely... Could they be doing a better job of staking their claim of, you know, being Team Destiny, but also offering an environment where Sunny is walking on eggshells? Probably so. But it's like these girls, we know in a situation like this, they're already going to be a little bit more, you know, tender about it. Um, who is calling me right now? end you I'll talk to you later um you know they're a little bit more tender especially just the way about sunny went about things and then after it really was after too like after everything sunny too you weren't talking like the way you talking now like you know we just happened to fall in love you were giving real you know what she said you know i'm the wife put the hand up and you, you just wanted to show it off in front of destiny kiss the ring type stuff and it was just kind of like and then you kept throwing like oh destiny wasn't really in a relationship he was talking to her and a whole bunch of other bitches and it's like you really just it wasn't a good look sonny so that's all i'm gonna say um but yeah all the ladies get together get all their stuff get on the van um, on the way to the house, um, they start asking questions to everybody. Stormy, she's going through the process of uh, surrogacy. Y'all know with Courtney. And so Sunny kind of pipes up and was like, oh, you know, I, I'm doing IVF or I did IVF. Y'all, allegedly, they already did two cycles. So her and uh, Odu definitely was interacting while Destiny and him were interacting. And Sunny knows that. Because how the hell y'all already did did two um rounds of ivf obviously they didn't take and so you know sunny was uh, not sunny stormy was like oh you know dang i'm sorry like you know that's you know that's sad like and it was a moment of just realizing you know at the end of the day like she is still a woman and a woman of a particular age who wants you know kids or something like that so it is um um it is <sighs> It puts everybody in a peculiar position. We'll just put it that way. Because you want to empathize with her. But you're automatically going to revert back to. But still can't trust that. You know. Like you're still going to keep your good eye. But I say always keep your good eye on somebody. Um, so yeah. They make it to the house. Everybody says hi. The place is beautiful. You know. The Melody Cherie way. They haven't done it the Melody Cherie way. Um, so they go in. Oh, you know, this is nice. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> this is nice, uh, basically. And Melody's like, yeah, 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 go ahead. Go see y'all's rooms. Because, of course, you're seeing all this beauty. The first thing you want to be, you, you're going to be asking yourself is, where the hell am, am I sleeping? Um, Sunny came in, say hi to Mel. Of course, she hugged her. Melody's definitely doing everything she can to make sure the girls know, like, uh, this is gonna be a fun trip. Melly didn't have, you know, some Jamaican men come by, okay, giving real beef patty, you know, giving real uh, beef patty on curry goat, okay? And um, so, yeah, all the girls, did they talk? I'm trying to think if they talked. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
uh, they all went to the rooms, of course. So they see everybody's rooms. Da, 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 da. Of course, we get downstairs. And this is where Kimmy and Tisha immediately, Tisha, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Mm -mm, no, mm, not doing it. She's like, I'm already, mm -mm, I did not come all the way here for this. And Nell, she, I, I don't know what was going on with Nell. I don't know if she, you know, might have took a Benadryl, you know, before the plane. And then mix the liquor, mix the, the shams with it. I don't know what was going on with Nell. But it was team too much, okay? But Tisha and Kimmy automatically come walking out. They going all on the balcony, uh, Trisha. Because they're basically like annoyed that they're in this position and so this is where i'm gonna ask you guys do you think it was wrong for tisha and kimmy and particularly tisha to have an expectation that male was gonna set them up in a way of like having their own room because to have that expectation of her when you know y'all aren't really good like that y'all ain't her friend y'all don't see it for melody Y'all always finding a way to, to bring your millimeters up this season. Like, secretly, deep down, we know y'all don't quit each other. So, to have this idea that Melody, you know, was going to set you up, I feel like was crazy, right? But then, on the other hand, I do see how it's a thought process of, which, at the end of the day, this is a cast trip, you know, and we are the main cast. And the way Kimmy and Tisha kind of slightly put it, it was also a situation of like, but for real though, because Kimmy, she was like, well, you know, Melody, it was just, you know, a thought process of just being that, you know, we've, you know, you, we've known you for a certain amount of time. Like Kimmy was trying to put it very lightly, you know, that we have history with each other. We thought that, you know, would have stood for, for something. And Tisha's like, girl, this is straight up, you know, lets me know how you feel about me. You know, obviously we're not as in a good of a place as I thought. Tisha, y'all ain't never been in a good place. Like, I don't know why you're at, like, that's where my, my head is kind of spun, where it's like, y'all ain't been in a, and y'all certainly wasn't in a good place after the divorce. So it's like, of course, like, the, you know what she thinks about you. And this represents that. And you upset about it? But I think, that's why I, 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 what y'all think? Do you feel like, nah, Tisha and Kimmy should have got that because, you know, they're, this is a cash trip. Yeah, that might be Melody's friends, but y'all are the add-ons. You know, like, if we basically, we came here, like, for us, and then y'all just gonna be the extras, you know? Or does, like, because this is Melody's trip, per se, you know, does she ha get to take the liberty and of, like, picking according to, like, what her feelings are? Um, yeah, Nell and all the other ladies was inside, and, um, did they eat by this time? Did they eat after this? Or before this? Okay, I think Nell was sent outside while they were talking. Um, yeah, I think that's how it was. Nell got sent outside while they were talking because Sonny, he'll be a messy. Uh, Nell, you, you should go out there because you the oldest because that, that's everybody's been putting that on Melody like, because you the oldest, you know? Melody pissed her off right when they came in. Nell was like, you gonna, you gonna stop throwing shade, Melly. And she was like talking about, oh, you the oldest. And she was like, how you know I am? Everybody's kind of, everybody, the way it kind of was like, skirt, like, Nell, okay, Miss Nell. Now, we know what Mr. Fletcher's age is. So just by a simple, you know, mathematician, you got to be within 10 years of him. Come on, Neil. Like, it's okay. Like, Neil, <laughs> my Bill, you was just like, because you are, like, it's, you are the oldest, like, but you don't look like it, you know, so it don't mean nothing. Like, right now, you should be, you know, flossing about your age because you really look good. Um... And so, yeah, Nail around these ladies clearly is insecure about her age. Um, but yeah, so that's why when Nail got sent outside and <laughs> started being messy being producer still, girl, you were part of the cast, well, quit being messy. Um, Nail go outside and she start with the, well, y'all need to figure it out. You know, what's the situation? And so Kimmy and Tisha was like, girl, what? And she was like, Oh, well, how do you know? How did y'all feel when we, we went to the trip in Houston? I know everybody wasn't happy, 
and you know uh i had to suck it up or whatever and so that's what y'all need to do suck it up and kimmy basically because she already wasn't in the mood was like first of all who asked you and two who sent you like because then nobody's why are you coming for me if i didn't send for you you know and so now kimmy's like not now nail like nail we did not need none of this we don't need the extras well, I'm just saying, you know, like for the moment, you know, suck it up, which I get it in a sense, because it is like, girl, truth be told, like we not going to be in these bedrooms like super long. And it ain't like you're in a bedroom with people that you're not uh, like you're not comfortable with. So it's just kind of like, <sighs> I get it. Multiple things can exist at the same time in this situation so nail basically blows up the spot and she's now walking away doing all her extras and her and now kimmy's looking like what was that like what's the nail like she was just like nail i what nobody needed this like we had the situation figured out like did nobody come did nobody send for you like who sent you bro like <laughs> sunny sunny okay kimmy <laughs> um uh, uh so yeah um they finally kind of break it up they go back Melly over there, guys, guys, we don't need to do this right now. So she take, brings everybody in. They're like, we're going to have a good time. She has her little Jamaica men. Okay, they come in and um, they do dancing. Melody, you know, with her still, they got her groove back. Um, and so they have dinner and stuff. And so uh, after, oh yeah, she brought in the beautiful, I love seeing like the feathers when it comes to carnival um and just the outfits they were super dope um they all go and sit down and as they're sitting down you know everybody's conversating uh melody's friend shantae i think it's shantae shantae or Ch charnay or something like that and basically everybody just kind of sit down talk about everything and i think uh either trisha uh or um who brought up the conversation first like what i can't remember what conversation was brought up first in the situation um i just remember they were just talking about like being around somebody that you don't like and you know can you do it and and tisha was like yeah like i'm mature like i mean shoot like i'm sitting next to stormy you know because stormy was like well she don't like me <laughs> and like we sit here fine and so when she said that she looked at mel and basically was like bitch watch her <laughs> watch her <laughs> and so tisha was like what that mean like what's that supposed to mean and she was like no i'm just saying you know it, you got to be careful like in a situation i guess where you know you could be sitting next to somebody and don't even know they don't quit you you know and so tisha obviously like got offended by that because it's like who are you to say like i'm fake like you don't know me in a way so definitely uh shantae doesn't have no problems in voicing her her opinions when it comes to tisha and obviously she's definitely doing a you know like a defensive male like obviously she knows all the things that happen with male and the cast and things like that so you can definitely tell she's she's got that heat for tisha you know in particular because of just we know what their past is um and i think she ain't gonna do it to kimmy because kimmy's one of the favorites and you know she just got over uh cancer so she's not gonna touch that one trisha ain't you know been long enough around long enough and nail nail don't nobody would hear yelling screaming doing all that all that all that high squeaking don't know i would hear me do that uh or nail do that so yeah she definitely you know set her sights on tisha at, at this deal now okay um so i'm trying to think what was said after that is this this where the episode ended hold on y'all let me think am i missing anything i feel like they talked to sunny at the table did they i'm trying to think and i think it got brought up um next week's gonna be brought up about destiny um mel's gonna act like she didn't know destiny was coming i absolutely believe that she thought she knew destiny was coming um i don't believe none of that um sunny i feel like something there was a conversation about sunny at that table it's blanking my mind but i think that's it you guys i love a marriage huntsville 
this just be a quick little recap of everything that I can think of anyways. I just want to, you know, get caught up on stuff. So, um, I appreciate for all you for tuning in. I'll make sure to drop it in the comments. Tell me what you feel about the episode. Do y'all feel like, um, you know, what about the situation with the bedroom? How would you have handled that if you were male? What you guys think of, uh, Nell going out there and kind of like, you know, getting involved with Tisha and Kimmy? <laughs> um, was she doing team too much? Um, and what do you think, um... How do you think, you know, this is going to play out with all the ladies in the dinner, um, you know, and them voicing their opinions? you feel like there's actually going to be resolved this time um, or not? Nah? I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will catch you hoes later. Deuces.